Hi guys, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't done this in a while. It's been a hot sec since I uploaded. Um, but I was just thinking today, why not film a day, not a day in my life, but like tiny little reading vlog of how I read during quarantine. Um, not how I read, but my reading habits during quarantine, I guess. Or self-isolation. I don't want to call it quarantine. Um, but I am self-isolating because of the whole COVID-19 thing. The state that I live in has started to open up. So the restrictions aren't as strict. But still self-isolating. Still being safe. So, since we're going on about like 60 days of being in this, um, I've read a lot. It's one of my main things that I do every day. So I thought, why not do a tiny little vlog of like reading vlog during self-isolation plus what I've been reading during this time. So the first portion is going to be a vlog, like vlog style, walk you through the books that I'm currently reading. And then the last portion, I'll show you the books that I've read. And I guess it's been like half of March, April, and now half of May. So it's like May 19th. So, a lot of books, um, lots of fun, not really, I've just been stuck at home, I'm getting to the point where I, like, I'm just getting so bored, so I thought, let's, like, I have so much, um, I don't know, like, cr creative juices flowing, and I don't have an outlet for them, um, I'm not in the mood to write or to, like, paint or anything the only thing that I'm really in the mood for is reading and I was talking to my friend about this I can read and it but it doesn't and like it feels productive but it doesn't feel like it's just like entertainment it doesn't feel like I'm putting my creative being like productive with my creativity I guess you know I'm not putting my creativeness into anything when I read I'm reading other people's which is amazing I love it so much um but that's like a bigger concept, I guess. But I figured, why not vlog? And that's where I really like can get, none of this is making sense. I haven't done this in so long. But vlogging is honestly where I can just like put some of my creativity into something um, that's not reading. So I'm gonna talk you through the books that I'm reading today, which is the books that I've been reading for a minute. The first one is Little Woman the most beautiful copy in the world. So this is, I have that much left, if you can see that little sliver. So what I've been doing for the past like three weeks to a month is reading 20 pages of this a day. It's my first classic I've ever read and I love it so much. So I already read my 20 pages today. I woke up at 8.30, did a whole like morning routine because I've been waking up so late. Then I sat outside with my iced coffee and read my 20 pages, which is my morning routine. I do this every single day. But since I'm at such a good part in the book, um, I'm thinking I might read more today, but we'll see. I have like 60 pages left. So I don't want to, like I want to finish it so that I can start Pride and Prejudice, which I'm going to read next. I'm on a classic binge, but I don't know. I don't want to finish it. You know what I mean? So we'll see how that turns out. And then I'm reading the second book in the Charlotte Holmes series, The Last of August. Um, I read, let's see, I'm on page 109 out of 315, and my plan is to get past the halfway mark today, which is 157. It's so good. Like, I have so many thoughts, but I can't talk about it without spoiling anything. I just, like, I can't, I don't have that capability. The plan for right now is that I'm going to go get myself a Starbucks and sit in my car and read, which is not very eco-friendly, but it gets me out of the house. So that's the plan. Okay, let's go to Starbucks and I'll bring you guys along. Also, like this might be really random, but I love the kind of, I know they don't really go together, but it's kind of aesthetically pleasing, the colors. First of all, this is my favorite copy of like any book that I have. It's the second Little Woman copy that I own because when the movie came out, I got the movie edition. That's when I started reading it. And then I found this in a little bookshop in a town that I was visiting. And it's just, I like, I adore it. So I'm obsessed with this. Um, and then the, the colors in this book, the like pink or peach and the greens, just, it makes me so happy. So 
I don't know, that's just a little something every day that brings joy to my days. Okay guys, it's like 10, 15 minutes after I last talked to you. Um, I'm parked in front of Starbucks. I got my drink. It's a mango dragon fruit with no fruit pieces, so that's why it looks all watery. I haven't had this one in a while. I've been really on a strawberry refresher, acai refresher kick, but this is exciting because it used to be like my go-to. Um, I wiped it down with hand sanitizer, was very careful about it all, just went through the drive-thru. So that's exciting and I'm just parked in the parking lot at Starbucks because this is so sad and as I'm saying it, I'm like, this is just sad, but I'm gonna take my glasses off, but um, I used to go and read at Starbucks every day, every single day. It was my social outing. I um, have depression and anxiety, all the mental health stuff. So it was like my way of getting out of the house and having like socialization every single day. Um, it really helped with all of that. So now it's kind of just been a struggle during quarantine um, because it's closed, which is of course, even if it opens now, I wouldn't go back until everything is completely under control, but I do miss it a lot. So it kind of just makes me feel close to home <laughs> sitting in front of the parking lot. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm not gonna stay here long because I don't wanna waste my gas. It also, I just wanted to say, since I said earlier that it was 100 degrees out, I got in my car and it was exactly 100 degrees and now it's 97, so I'm not kidding. It's so hot. So I'm just gonna drink my Starbucks and read probably just like 15 pages here. Um, just so I can get more headway onto being halfway through. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, um, it's now about three o'clock and I'm just sitting outside. I got home and I had some lunch and now I moved out to my backyard, which is my favorite place to read. I sit out here every morning, every afternoon, in the shade, sometimes in the sun. My legs are so tan because like half of my legs will be in the sun and half in the shade, so it's, just, it's not a good look. But I'm just sitting out here hanging out with my dog and I have my Starbucks and my water and my book and I'm gonna get some reading done. I sat down to film the like what I've been reading portion of this video because pretty soon in my bedroom I'll lose daylight. And my camera battery was di dying. So um, I'm letting that charge and then I will film that. But yeah, I got to page 123 of the last of August in front of Starbucks. Um, which was just like 14 pages read. So not too shabby, but I still have 30 pages that I wanna get read today. So I'm gonna go do that right now and I'll update you guys if I have an update. <laughs> I'm now on my fancy camera in front of my bookshelf that is so weird I feel like I owe a little bit of an explanation as to what's going on with this bookshelf um, so basically a lot of my books are in the apartment that I live in up where I go to college and I brought a lot of them home but not enough to where I can make a full bookshelf out of it so this entire shelf is my shelf that I've read since being home. It's where I keep all of my books that I've read since being home that I'm about to show you. This is my shelf of books that I want to read during quarantine, haven't gotten a chance to. Basically, it's just a random assortment of my TBR shelf. This down here is the books that I've read that I've kept at home. And then that is poetry books, just a small handful, and then school books. So, very weird. I don't like it, but it's what I have to work with um, at my home down here. So that's what's going on. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys the books that I've read since about the middle of March, which was when quarantine started, self-isolation. It's when I came home because of all that was going on with the coronavirus and my college got switched to online school as like did every college. So I've basically just read a lot. I think I've read 11 books. So I'm going to show you. It's currently May 18th, so that's like about two months put together. So let's start with 
Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't have like an exact time order. I write down, I'm very anal about this, and I write down the day I start a book and the day I end it in my notes app. Um, I have it going back to like 2017, but I'm not gonna like go through and do that. I'm just gonna show you guys, based off my memory, the books that I've read since. So, starting in March, I was reading this, I think it was like 200 pages in when I got home, so I read the rest since being home. And it's Ghost of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, and Robin Wasserman. This is um, part of the Shadowhunter universe, the Shadowhunter Chronicles. Um, it's just a novella, or like a book with a bunch of novellas tied into it that all tie together and everything. I love this. I needed to read it so that I can eventually read Chain of Gold because I wanted to read it before. So this is the first book that I finished during quarantine or that I like started reading during quarantine and eventually finished in March. I did love this a lot. I loved more stories or some stories more than others but it was definitely fun to read and a nice distraction during quarantine even though it did make me really sad. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one. If you read it let me know what your thoughts on it were. So the next book that I read was so fun. It was so fun to read while stuck at home. Kept me distracted. I'm pretty sure I finished this like I took a break from Ghost of the Shadow Market and then finished this and then went back to the Shadow Market. But that's The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson, the third and final book in the Truly Devious series. I love this series so much. It made me want to be like to get more into the mystery genre. Um, there are so many good things I can say about this series, but I did get my best friend Quincy to read the entire trilogy while being at home. So that was a success. And um I have nothing bad to say about this. It was the perfect wrap up of a trilogy and I'm so glad I read it while I was at home. Like I said, kept me distracted, all of that. These next two books I did not read back to back, but they're pretty close and they're all part of the same series and it's The Trials of Apollo and The Dark Prophecy, the first and second book in the Trials of Apollo series. Oh, this is The Hidden Oracle, the Trials of Apollo series. Um, I had read this book right when it came out, which we think was in either 2016 or 2017. Loved it, but never continued with the series, so I reread it this time around so that I can continue. And then I read this one, and I just, I love Rick Riordan so much. Um, I think it was a great decision to read these books during this time. It just made me feel very comforted. All of the characters, especially all of the characters that are from past series, um, yeah, I just, I'm so glad I decided to read them. I have the third book waiting for me in an Amazon package that I haven't opened yet, but I'm not planning on reading that for a little bit. But I'm really glad that I picked up this series again and definitely plan on continue reading it. Whenever I'm not reading, like, any of the Apollo books, I find myself missing the characters, which I think is just, like, the best feeling ever. So those two are the next two books that I've read. The next book that I read and finished is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. My copy is a little ruined because I tried getting a sticker off and it just like didn't work so it's a little messed up. But I adored this book. It was the perfect contemporary to read. I was so attached. It made me have this like newfound obsession with Italy and definitely five stars. I would recommend this to anyone who wants like a fun romance slash like I wouldn't say it's like a finding yourself book, but like there's definitely aspects of that in there. Okay, my camera cut out, but what I was saying was there's definitely aspects of like finding yourself in here and finding, I don't know, like family history and all of that. So I would definitely recommend this. I highly enjoyed it. And yes, I do plan on continuing with her other books, but I just haven't gotten a chance to pick them up yet. But since I love this so much, I have a feeling that I'll love her other two also. Okay, the next two books that I want to show are books that I had to read for school, but I still want to show them in here. The first one is The Prague Orgy. This was only 80 pages. Um, it's by Philip Roth. It was from my American Jewish Lit class. I don't know, it was very random. I don't really have a review on this because it was for class. It was just a quick read, but it was fun. I really enjoyed the characters, especially Olga, if you have read this book. So I read this one, and then I also read... When Watched by Leopoldine Kaur, a sly, provocative, and psychologically astute debut story collection. So it's like all of these characters live somewhere in New York, and I highly enjoyed it. 
very thought provoking. Um, I loved some short stories more than the others, but this is actually the first short story collection that I've read. So it definitely made me want to read more. It was a fun read too. I also picked up Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace, one of my favorite poets. But I hadn't read her last book, To Drink Coffee with a Ghost, and I read this in one sitting. And then the next day, or the next couple of days, I picked up um, Break Your Glass Slippers, and I think this one might be my favorite out of all of her poetry books. Um, I also love To Drink Coffee with a Ghost. You really can't go wrong with Amanda Lovelace. I love her poetry so much. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like the illustrations are so beautiful. It, as always, was so empowering. Um, one of my favorite things about it was like the section breaks looked like this. And they're so pretty. So I'm really glad I picked this one up. And it might be one of my favorite reads during this quarantine because I loved it so much. I have, if you know me, I have this weird obsession with the Salem Witch Trials. I'm so interested in it. And it came from high school when we read The Crucible um, in my like English class and I've been wanting to reread it since but I just haven't had the like drive to actually go out and buy it and read it so I ordered it off Amazon at the beginning of all of this happening and I finally got along to reading it it's short I enjoyed it so much I cried it's beautiful it also inspired me to read more plays something like a common theme during this social distancing is that I've been branching out and trying other genres which I think is so exciting. I definitely loved this so much. If you are interested in the Salem Witch Trials or you want to play to read, I would definitely recommend this. Okay, the next book that I read is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. Caval Caval Cavallaro. I feel like it's really not that hard to pronounce. Cavallaro. Yeah, Cavallaro. Um, probably butchering that. I've had this book for so long and I've just never picked it up. I think I started with the t first 20 pages when I first bought it and I just couldn't really get into it. Keep in mind it was only 20 pages. So I needed a book to read during all of this. So I tried reading this and fell in love, like in love with this series so much. There's only good things I can say about it. I want to make a review video on the series so I can go into more details, but if you want something to read like anything please pick this up it's so good it's one of my new favorite series and it is actually um one of my favorite reads of 2020 so far so super exciting hence why in this vlog i'm reading the second one because i love it so much so please pick this up you won't regret it the most recent book that i read is wayward son by rainbow rowell um i loved carry on i read it in 2017 so this has been sitting on my shelf since it came out in like October, November. I honestly don't remember when. And I just haven't picked it up yet, but I'm so glad I did because it's just, it reminded me of why I love the characters. They went on such a fun journey. It kind of went into it just expecting it to be like about the characters with no real, like no big plot, but there actually was, and I really enjoyed it. I loved seeing different sides of Baz and Penny and Simon and just like Agatha, like, oh my god, I love all of them so much. This is the Barnes & Noble Exclusive Edition, and it has the prettiest art. And look at that. I am obsessed with it. I highly enjoyed it. Um, just like I have all of these books that I've read, like, while coronavirus is happening and I'm stuck at home, I honestly, like, I haven't read a bad book. Like, all of these have been so great. That's it. Um... I'm going to turn off the fancy camera and go back to the vlog and continue reading the last of August because I'm like 20 pages away from being halfway done. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So it's a little while later. It's about 4.30 now and I just got halfway through this book. I'm so excited. Um, the last, I just finished my chapter and it ended up being like right at the number that's halfway I'm pretty sure. And it's a cliffhanger so I can't wait to keep reading. But I figured I would end this vlog here because all I'm going to do is hang out and read and watch TV for the rest of the night. Um, get sushi with my family to go, which is super exciting because I haven't had sushi in so long. But yeah, I figured I would end this vlog here because I'm not really doing anything else. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short and just random, I guess. But I do want to start getting into vlogging again. So I figured this was a good introduction. Um, 
I do plan on making more videos during this social distancing. I love watching reading vlogs, especially, I don't know, they like keep my mind preoccupied if I'm feeling anxious or anything, so I wanna make some of those. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.